guys, hey, how you doing? Tom, hey, hello, how you doing? We'll give you a fit. Hi, Richard, how you doing? Nice to see you guys. Hello. Get blocked off my head on the microphone. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? Just want to talk about films. Kelly, Tom, I want to take it back a few years because you guys have known each other for a while. Kelly, you've known Tom since he was performing at the Theatre 503 above the Latchmere pub. About 50 years ago. And Tom, you've known Kelly since Primetime Video Rental Store in Battersea. That's, yes, now... Primetime DVD. Absolutely. Oh, DVD, of course. Yes, so wow. Ears, right? And now you're directing, you know, the Ultimate Venom film. What's like the best thing about seeing not only one of your colleagues, but one of your good friends progress in their careers over many years? It's been really interesting watching a completely different career within the industry, uh, some of my, my friend's trajectory in that. Yeah, we've sort of both gone up side by side doing, mm. working together and mm. doing different things. And yeah. it was, re it's uh, for me, incredible watching what he's done as well. Like, and vice really... versa, because the first time we properly it's uh, got together on film was on Bronson, which is, I was 30, so that's 17 years ago. Oh no, we're really old. Yeah, and Kelly wrote all of Bronson, um, which was incredible. I mean, there was a there was a, a draft, but it, it wasn't, it, there was nothing challenging about it or uh, exciting or, it, it, or interesting in, in that aspect. And so I really needed Kelly to come in and challenge me in a way that Nick could never challenge you know, so it was wonderful to have that. Um, my, my, my partner then, uh, and, and now here we are doing Venom, The Last Dance, and it, it, it's just an extension really of that work, which is, you know, super surrealism and natural and naturalism, but, but epic fun as well. Tom, you've now played this character over successive years. Mm. Is it hard to let that character go? Is there something you'll miss in particular about Eddie Venom? Yeah, I will do. I'll miss them both. I was watching the, the movie the other night, and it hit me that, that oh, I will miss coming back to my friends and, and everybody at work because there's always been another one coming. Mm -hmm. So whenever you finish something, this, we, we will do into writing and do, um, you know, drafting the next one. But you know, the, I, I intend to work with Kelly if she, if she will. <laughs> no. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay, fair one. I actually want to quickly talk about dogs because Tom, I walked past your dog on the way in here. Um, obviously, I'm more of a seal man, but I noticed that Kelly, if I'm right, your sister Rosie is an ambassador for a dogs charity. I believe that she is, as is Tom. Absolutely, I was going to say yeah, Tom, and obviously for you for Battersea Dogs Home. If anyone needs convincing, not that they should do, because dogs are amazing. Can you tell our audience just like why dogs are incredible? Well, if you love Venom, <laughs> then you should love dogs because he basically is one. <laughs> Massive, you dog, know, isn't big it? puppy yeah. energy. Dogs are just amazing. They have an unconditional love and loyalty and, and heart and, and ability eternal to eternal hope. Oh, yeah, it's hope springs eternal. <laughs> <laughs> Consistent <laughs> reminder that they, it can always get better at any moment as soon as you rustle a crisp packet. And the joy that comes out of the dog, uh, you know, is, is, is second to none. I, I absolutely love dogs. This is called The Last Dance. It's kind of the end of an era. What eras are you guys now in? Are you at stages of your careers where you're drawn to particular projects or different roles? I'm in the, I really want to go to sleep era. <laughs> yes. I'm in the, can I go home, get on the floor, play Lego with my kid and have a really early bedtime era? Yeah, I, I hear, I concur. <laughs> I absolutely concur. <laughs> That's all I've got time for today, guys. Thank you so much for talking to Thank me. You. Pleasure. I'm going to put it there again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.